Hi, I'm Patrick from StaffBase. In this video, I'm proud to show you some of the highlights for the August 2018 release of the StaffBase platform. This time, we're heavily focused on improving the usability of the app for your employees through the brand new QuickLinks bar on mobile, as well as on-demand translations for comments in other languages. On top of that, your admins get powerful filters that make managing users a breeze. Last but not least, we're introducing the first big step towards a whole new generation of analytics in StaffBase. Let's start with the personalizable quick links for mobile. The idea behind it is that employees always need to be able to quickly get to the most important content as easily as possible. The sidebar is great for your full menu, but it is always at least one click or swipe away, even more if you're somewhere deep inside the menu. However, the new bar on the bottom of the mobile screen is always available, not only on your start page. It hosts up to five of your most important menu items, such as home, directory, chat, and my groups. The greatest thing about it, notifications about new activity are always visible, such as this chat message from Andrew. On the desktop web, we suggest to use quick links as part of your start page, since the sidebar is always visible and more easily accessible already. Setup for this new feature happens in the menu section of the admin interface. You can decide what items of the menu should be used as a quick link. You can set a short name to be used instead of the original name, and you can decide in what order the links should appear in the bar. Targeting is applied as in all other parts of your app. So you can even show a specific content to only some members of your organization through the Quick Links bar. This new feature is available to all customers and can be activated on the new app through your Customer Success Manager. Our second new feature this August is on-demand translations for comments. Especially international teams with multiple languages often struggle to include everyone when communicating on the same platform. This also applies to employee apps such as StaffBase. To reach everyone, editors can already write content in multiple languages, so that's great. However, comments in your news section are usually created only in one language, which easily creates a communication gap. With StaffBase, you can now bridge language barriers through on-demand translation. Simply click the C translation link below a comment to get the comment in your language. When writing a new comment, we automatically detect the language of it to make sure the link is only shown if you actually need a translation for it. Of course, on mobile you get the same experience and the behavior is just as simple. Together with our partner Microsoft, we're able to offer quick translations for over 60 languages. Machine translation is not always perfect yet, but it's a developing technology that can solve real problems in simple ways. This feature can now be used for free on the new app. Just reach out to your customer success manager for more information on how to activate this. With advanced filters for user management lists, the August release also holds something for staff-based admins. Working with user lists can quickly become overwhelming when dealing with lots of users on one platform. The new filters in staff-based help you to quickly view only the employees that you want to see right now. There are a few options available. The sign-in type decides how a user logs into the app, for example, by using an access code, an email address, or single sign-on. The filter for the creation type is for the different ways on how users' data is synced with StaffBase, such as through a CSV import or an Active Directory sync. The user role lets you view only users with a specific access level, which could be everyone that is an editor. The last filter can show specific groups within your organization. That includes both internal and open groups. Combine filters for more advanced selections, such as all users in the group named onboarding. You can even search based on this filtered list to further refine your results. In this case, Linda is a regular user in the onboarding group and matches the term logistics in her profile. All this new flexibility is now available in the user management section of your admin interface. 
Let us know if you have any questions. The last highlight of the August release is our all new analytics API. Getting the right insights about the usage of your employee app is crucial to improve your content, optimize the structure of your app, and report to management. A few statistics are already available through the current admin dashboard and exports. However, they did not cover many important cases and lack the necessary flexibility. Our all new analytics API introduces a whole new world of insights for app administrators. This first iteration provides you with statistics on four important categories. First one is news, where you can, for example, get the number of views, viewers, likes, and comments for posts with a variety of filters, such as the time frame or a specific news channel. For the first time, you will now also be able to get insights on content other than news. Compare content items and their activity throughout the app and even in your public area. Chat is another important area that we did not have any statistics on until now. With the new analytics API, you can see how many employees are actively using the chat and how that usage splits between direct and group conversations. Last but not least is user engagement, which provides insights on how many users are active, engaged, and what actions they take in the app. Of course, again, with flexible filters for time, group, and more. For more information, go to developers.staffbase.com. There you can find a detailed documentation on the analytics categories, available filters, and how to access the statistics. One convenient way is to download a CSV export of the statistics through the API. We are already working on an enhanced dashboard that includes all the new analytics with filters and exports right in your admin interface. Stay tuned, this will be part of the next release in fall. That's it for this time. Get more insights on the new release in our blog post on insights.staffbase.com. There you can also find the full list of improvements and bug fixes. Let us know your feedback on the new features. Thank you. Mm -hmm.